Can you hear us now? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Faces are being snatched and stolen, and we have special guests Stacy Hyduke and Paul Telfer coming into the studio live and in living color. It's <laughs> AfterBuzz TV's Dishing Day starting now. <laughs> You're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz. <laughs> oh, we hey! got found. People, we hey! got found. Hey, hey we got found. <laughs> you Days of Our Lives fans, welcome to After Buzz TV's Dishin Days, where we give you a full recap of this week's episodes of NBC's number one award-winning hit soap opera, <laughs> Days of Our Lives. I'm your host, Tony Moore. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and to my far, 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 left, with this correct <laughs> social media, we have... Michael Mattis, how are you? <laughs> never gets old. Never, never. It gives me a chuckle. And we have our official oh, fourth yes. host joining us for her official oh. show as an official host here for this wacky show. That's Mark the Stay. I love it. Hi, everyone. I'm Chelsea Overrocker. I'm so excited to be here with this beautiful panel. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to have some good times. Yeah, we are. Get ready, Chelsea. <laughs> you just don't know what you signed up for. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and, of course, we have given you category is soccer mom realness. Oh. <laughs> mm. Soccer mom? Yeah. I don't think she liked that. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> She thought about it for a second, like, you're the hot soccer mom. You're the one Thank that brings right? the yeah. Yeah. You're the milk. Yeah. You're the like milk. you like the Appreciate soccer milk. That. Like you're the one, you're the one that walks on the grass and heels going, I got drinks. I got homemade brownies. After she just had a mimosa in the car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's that, she's that girl. I don't think it. If you are watching us live, thank you so much for sticking around. We had some technical difficulties, but hey, we had a good chat in the chat room. Uh, if you're watching <laughs> us later, thanks for tuning in. If you're listening to us on iTunes or any podcast carrier, thanks for joining us. And while you're there, give us five stars and a comment mm -hmm. because we love to read comments about how great and awesome we are. <laughs> if you are a lover of all soaps, make sure you tune in to our other soap opera recaps. We have Restless Rap for Young and the Restless and the GH report for General, General Hospital. Hospital. And also, make sure you like us and follow us on all social media platforms. We are Dishin Days on Facebook and Instagram and underscore Dishin Days on the Twitter. Mm -hmm. Whew, and that has been your church announcements. All right, y'all. Um, what do we think of this week's episodes of Days? This week, it didn't feel like I was watching like a dramatic soap opera. I felt like I was watching a comedy most of the time. <laughs> it was very yes. entertaining. It was oh, funny. I, I love seasons. I had a, a lot of good, a lot of good moments where you're like, oh, yeah, like, yeah. oh, oh. Yeah. There was physical comedy. <laughs> mm -hmm. There was comedy just in the writing in general, for sure. It, it, it was kind of. There's no shade. It's Shady Sunday. It was, kind of a, <laughs> it was kind of a slow week until the whole mask stuff started. Okay. And then it kind of picked up. No, see, I thought just the opposite. Because at the beginning, on Monday, Gabby moved the story along by mm -hmm. putting two and two together, thinking mm -hmm. that Nicole is behind the framing of Stefan. Okay, so that was a moment. I appreciated that. Well, but then the mask happened, what, Wednesday? Yeah. Wednesday, yeah. That's when yeah. I was like, hey, who stole the mask? I loved that. <laughs> I, I, I have to say, I didn't see that one. I didn't see that one coming until, like, he put her up against the wall. I was like, oh, he's going to snatch that mask. Yep, okay, we'll yeah. stop it right there. <laughs> We're going to get all into it. See, they just like to just go into We're stuff. going into it. It's We're supposed to be like short a, on time. It's supposed to be a tease. <laughs> it's now time to start Dishing Days. Days. Chelsea, will you do the honors? Oh, thank you. A first Yay. official one. Yay! Yay. <laughs> She's no longer a villain or guest. Yay! Yay. All right, let's get into this um, storyline. There's there was a lot a, of people. There was a lot. It, yeah. I, I texted Tammy because I had problems breaking it down. So, okay. Yeah, so I did the best I could. We're just going to call this Krakow and everybody else underneath the umbrella. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about everybody. Go. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. Stefan's well, arrested. That's well, how but, okay, mm -hmm. so anyone else baffled or did a huh? When um, um, Kate and... Ted. Ted are like, uh, yeah, Stefan uh, kidnapped us. I was with Stefan. He was like, me? <laughs> yeah. Like, what are you talking about? I feel like they're, and, and Stefan was arrested. I feel like they needed to try to, like, investigate a little more before just immediately arresting him. Well, they took him and, down for questioning, right? 
But didn't they arrest him? Wasn't he? They, like, yeah, he was well, on the arrest boat for questioning. Yeah. Oh, okay. well, I mean, when you have two people saying that, yes, he's the guy that kidnapped us. Mm -hmm. I mean, Is that's that probable enough? cause for arrest. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm, all right. Look at you. Yeah. Okay, Salem PD. I know. My <laughs> point she has it. And yeah. probable cause. And this is why we only see each other <laughs> on Sundays. Knows <laughs> no, her probable uh, cause. But you could tell he was he was kind of putting the pieces of the puzzle together when he went down and he saw, like, the champagne. And mm -hmm. it was just kind of like, hmm. And then it took Gabby to be like, wasn't the cold down there? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. And then, oh, then here come Captain Gabby. <laughs> Doing Captain Gabby stuff. Oh, I love Gabby this week, I know. though. She, oh, she is amazing. The whole time, I'm like rooting from like, go Gabby, go mm -hmm. Gabby, especially mm -hmm. towards the end of the week mm -hmm. when she's just with Xander that exchange. I was like, yeah, Gabby's my girl. Mm -hmm. When she snatched that briefcase, <laughs> I know. That I was, was like, slow. first of all, you are oh, quick. Yeah, yeah, right. But then secondly, or Xander slow. Yeah, well, that. <laughs> but I was also like, Xander, why do you have your whole life out here with this briefcase? Like, why didn't you put it up underneath the chair? You just mm -hmm. got it sitting on top of the table as if you don't have secret documents up in there. And masks. And yes. Masks. And, and, yeah, people, like and people's life. faces. Yeah. Um, I did love the moment between Kate and Gabby in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Oh. Which hints why we have uh, these brownies that are not as dry as Gabby's, Gabby's brownies. Gabby's dry brownies. Um, but I like that <laughs> moment, and especially when Kate called out Gabby and was like, "You're in love with him." Mm -hmm. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. She. It, it's She's almost like, like whatever you say. It's almost like Kate is like, "Listen, you're talking to the OG of the <laughs> right? game. Yeah. You had this whole plan, and now it is unfolding because you done caught feelings over mm -hmm. the D. Yeah, she's mm -hmm. standing by her man. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. that's what's happening. Happening. Everyone's mm. calling out Gabby though this week, saying you have feelings. Yeah, I was just gonna, yeah. yeah. I was like, Kate wasn't the only one, was she? Yeah, no, it was, mm -hmm. it was Brady else. who did it too oh, when yeah. they were confronting right. each other. But yeah, she's denying. She's like, no, no, no. I, the reason I want to do it is because I want to be the one that's going to put him down, mm -hmm. not anyone else. I mm -hmm. worked so hard for this. I'm like, Gabby, she's fooling herself. Yeah, we don't you, know that, you need though. to tone it yeah. down. Cause no one's <laughs> buying this. I don't think nope. she's buying this. It's like, girl, you you not trying to convince other people. You trying, trying to convince yourself. Yes. Yeah. That was that. She's in denial. Well, uh, Seven wasn't the only person arrested. Xander was arrested as well. Mm -hmm. But Xander is like, listen, <laughs> <laughs> let me get this immunity, no. and I'll tell you the real deal, Holyfield. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they did. He did. did. He got it like overnight. He did. He put, they posted bail. He posted no, he's bail. He was granted immunity as long, but I think he still has to hold up his end of the bargain. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's testified yet, but they got him out, and he will be granted immunity. Yeah, because it's that, that whole exchange that he had with Brady when Brady tried to fire him from Titan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was like, oh, uh, there's a clause in your contract that says uh, if, you, if you've been charged with, what, like a felony or something mm -hmm. like that. And he was like, oh, oh, oh. It says convicted. I, I just so happened to have my contract right here. Mm -hmm. I wasn't charged. I was, uh, oh, is that, that wasn't was, he wasn't convicted. convicted. Yes. He was yeah. charged. Um, and then Brady still tried to find a loophole, yeah. and he was still like, Nah, no. bro. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, I got this. You can't it get was, rid of it. It was like technically you were working for you did something for Demira. You were working for the competition, mm -hmm. and I was like, I yeah, yeah. no, yeah. Yeah. not gonna hold up, Brady. Well, I Sorry. love how I love how Xander is adding to the stable of people that he knows owes him. Yeah, you know, Eve owes he him. Is, yeah. Will and Sunny mm -hmm. owe him. Mm -hmm. Ted. Owes him, mm -hmm. and he reminds people that oh, yeah. there'll, there'll be a time where you'll have I'll to owe Colin. me. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yeah. He makes it very clear. But you know, I think the ball is in his court now because he could go either way with um, testifying. He could oh, go yeah. with St Stephen still, or he can go with. Um, Chris. Kristen trying yeah. to throw her under the bus, so I yeah. still feel like the ball's in his court on which what, what he's going to do. I'm, yeah, I'm curious about which way he's going to go with that. Whether he's going to throw Kristen under the bus or go along with the lie that yeah. Stefan was the the mastermind. And Michael had actually curious. said this earlier. He said Xander's kind of running Salem right now. That's what, that, that was my you know? first little thing. I was like Xander just running around Salem. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, like he's he has his hands in everything, yeah. mm -hmm. and he's holding a lot of cards. Like you to your yeah. point, the master and, con. Yeah, smart dude. Well, I tell you what, smart he has, cookie. What he has his hands on right now is that mask. Very good yes. segue. Like, that was brilliant. You're welcome. She's a professional. Um, the fact that they got into that tussle and I, there was a split second where I was like, is he going to yank the mask? And then, of course, cut to the next scene. It's now Kristen, and she's like, give me that back. And he's just like, nope. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> face snatched. Right. Literally, <laughs> face snatched. And then the gaggery of the gag of the gag is 
being like, look outside your room. <laughs> and oh, then, like, yeah. there's the Nacho Libre mask. And I'm like, this is pure. Who, yeah. who on the writing team? How was, much coffee did they have? Were there boxes of donuts when somebody came up with this idea? This is what I picture. 11th hour, the writers were like, okay, boom, script turned in, gotta go. And they said, pop, 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 pop. We need some revisions. It's 2 a.m. The writers sitting there like, what can I write? Snatches mask, returns it with Nacho Libre <laughs> mask. Exclamation point, yeah. And then he went home and fell asleep and was like, I'll just deal with it in the morning. And someone <laughs> said, brilliant! <laughs> in there, yeah. But that was, that was, that, the whole mm -hmm. ceiling of the mask and it, and it sitting, like, in his briefcase and, like, her back to Gabby. Gabby being like, Nicole, Nicole, oh I can't tell you, Nicole, she I'm not going anywhere, Nicole, in that Nicole. Mask. And then she goes, go away. I'm like, um, <laughs> you don't even sound like Nicole. Mm. You don't even look like, like you could have right. did that from behind the door, like, exactly. go, go away, Gabby, I'm not dealing with you. No, Nicole, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. No, she, full oh. Nacho Libre mask, like, not even, <laughs> like, like, not even, like, the, not even, like one of those like beauty masks or no. something, you know what I mean? Where right. where like you know maybe she had like a bonnet and the mask and was like boom went and like maybe with like a teeth <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like Nacho Libre answering the door like go away. That was team. That was team a lot. And that's what sold the mask for me yes. <laughs> in yeah. that moment. And then Gabby's just like. <gasps> Oh, and, and she, when he's just off, that like hit her. And over she made the a edge. comment. She's like, I don't know she's if that a, was some like racial slur against yeah, me. Or she's just a freak. <laughs> or she's just a freak. She's yeah. just a freak. <laughs> that uh, this this mask has is just everything mm -hmm. right now. It's, it's, it's definitely into play. So then, when she was, Kristen had an idea. She had to spend the night in the hotel room because mm -hmm. she couldn't go out as Kristen. Then she remembered. And I was like, why didn't she think of this sooner? But Tammy was like, oh, she just forgot. I'm like, okay, I'll go with that. That she, she had the so Susan disguise. And so yeah. emotional. Yeah. Yeah. She, she needed to calm down. Yeah. Get the brain thinking. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. oh, yes, I always carry around my Susan. My Susan. My bad <laughs> Susan suitcase. And a wig. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I always have this. But I loved, uh, this is kudos to, like, the camera <laughs> work, is that, like, we didn't quite know what she was going to mm -hmm. do. And then the camera pans <laughs> over, like, the colorful <laughs> outfits and all that. And yeah. the, and the, the empty open, teeth. The empty teeth that box. was so gross. And then there's a ding dong at the carry office <laughs> mansion. It's like, surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Those scenes, like the scene that, okay, so when Xander called her and said, I left you a package at your door, and the mask came out, I was like, ha! And then, when she comes over to the Kiriakis I'm mansion. I'm sorry, you are like, what? Ha! <laughs> so, she comes over, <laughs> so she goes over to the Kiriakis mansion, and then she's like, I brought a gift for you, Xander. I was like, oh, it's the mask. I, I, you know, I thought she was the gun. I thought she was going to pull the gun. I, I thought she was, too, but I was like, I was like, what is she going to have? And then Will was kind of like, well, this should be interesting. <laughs> Those two were just like. The whole time, they're just like. The, Back and uh, forth. <laughs> the camera angle where she shows the mask and they have like the stare down and it literally transitions from Will and Sonny looking at Susan to looking at Xander like what? What? Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> and both Xander, because at first Xander was like oblivious, like who is this kooky woman? And then finally with the mask, you could see in Xander's face, oh, he was just right. like, oh, oh, you bitch. Yeah. yeah. You, okay. Yeah. I, I, loved see that, the look. I loved that moment between Kristen and Xander, because yeah. Kristen was like, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His eyes were so intense. Oh, he was gosh. staring her down like, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want to play? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's All like, right. okay, I see what we're doing. But and he, he just runs away. <laughs> Comedy kept ensuing because she decided to Hi, venture around and she didn't know what room she was in and she ended up in Brady's room. Oh, my room. living word. Oh, Gratuitous towel drop. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you, Susan and I's face looked the same. Cause, because I was like, I, you know, because I watch days. You multitask. I'm, I'm, like, I'm on my phone mm -hmm. and then um, she's like, and I'm like, what room is she in? And then, like, it, it started at Brady's abs, mm -hmm. and it worked, and it was still that like light moisture, like it didn't dry off all the way, and it panned up, and as soon as Susan went, I was like, <laughs> I did the same thing. I was like, 
That's Tony doing a Susan imitation. Of yeah. Ooh. It was very much like, oh, okay, we about to get a towel drop. <laughs> oh, my best moment, though, is when she's coming on him, and she's like, you don't like me? Is it because of my teeth? Yeah, yeah, no, no, not because of the teeth. <laughs> Poor Brady. Uh, just... You have a boyfriend, Susan. You have a boyfriend, yeah. a very nice boyfriend. Well, Jesus. we're in one of those... Open relationships. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, really? She you could, too? she okay. could not resist. Like, she, I think she was still trying to be Susan, but Kristen definitely. No, Kristen came was out. using the opportunity as Susan yeah. to like get her feels in. And what was her line to him? Don't knock until you try it. <laughs> <laughs> no, my my favorite was um, when she she was about to kiss him. She was like. And there's just one little teeny tiny little thing. Oh, and they just like, <laughs> was like hopped up on him. Mm -hmm. And then as she was kissing him, and then that towel dropped, and then Will and Sonny walked in and was just like, do 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 do. It's like, what is going on here? Oh, mayhem. Uh, it's like Chelsea was saying, it was just this comedy. 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 Pure, pure comedy. So. This, uh, that's everything. Oh, but my I, loving words. I'm so glad. Y'all know I love Susan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, even if it's Susan playing, uh, uh, Kristen playing Susan, I just love when Susan is, is on the camera. Well, and they took getting, the gun. They took the gun from her, which, yeah. was oh, good, yes. which was a good thing. Yes, yes. And now the real Susan has showed up. Yes. At the end. Perfect timing. Cannot right. wait for that moment. And they were confused. Oh. Like, and she was like, <laughs> surprise! <laughs> and I almost wanted to be like, surprise! It was all <laughs> so we'll see how that all gets here. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. So much. So, so much happening. Um, and then, of course, uh, Kristen uh, calls uh, Xander to come to the park. Mm -hmm. so that they can, and now I'm trying to figure out how Xander is going to explain to him that uh, your face is in a briefcase that Gabby got. What if he has a back? What if he somehow was able to get like another mask? Do you think he has another one? No. There's no. just one. That's why she tripping. Because if there was another one, she, would she wouldn't be tripping. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good but, point. So, but, but but now it's with. Why well, was gonna say? I was gonna say Rafe told her to return it. Right. She Rafe, Rafe, Rafe told her, Gabby yeah. to, return to return it. it. But in Horton Town Square, right. Gabby couldn't find Xander and saw Brady and was like, "Here, don't ask questions." That's, oh, that's right. So Brady has yeah. it. Yeah. And if he opens it, that would be good because I feel like he's the only one that's supporting Nicole right now. Everyone's he's trying to find some logic reason why Nicole isn't mixed up in this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if he's the one that opens up that briefcase and it's a surprise. That's gonna Surprise! be good. Like, <laughs> for some hear that first. I could just sit in my mind. <laughs> Is it me or like, if if you saw the mask, wouldn't you want to put it on kind to of. see if like you look like Nicole? Kinda. No. Well, I, I mean, would. if, if I, I didn't know, she would have black circles right here, but <laughs> <laughs> I kind of would. Me too. Yeah. I wouldn't even if I didn't know whose it was. But I'd just be like, I'd but be curious. Yeah. What is it supposed to be? <laughs> Would you put the mask on? I don't know. Well, okay, if I was a character of Days of Our Lives, absolutely. Because then there's another, like, but this is real. What are you talking about? Real life. No, we, real we life. talking about Chelsea is strolling uh, yes. through Horn Town Square. <laughs> she sees a briefcase with a mask in it. Mm. You putting that mask on? I don't think I would. I wouldn't. I'm I'd be it on. I'm grossed out. <laughs> I'm I would be at so it, grossed and out. And then I'd be like, ooh, <laughs> I'm a rich white woman. <laughs> White chicks. Yeah. White. Very nice. Yeah. I'm all about it. Um, all right. So uh, that's it, right? For, yeah, so that whole yeah. There was some more Kate and Ted stuff, but basically the summary of that was just like they still have it for each other. They, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's Because they kept right. having the flashbacks yeah. of they them the kissing each other and him giving himself the champagne bath. Yes. And then Kate is, um, you know, in Kate's the hotel resisting. room and she's just like, stop thinking about Ted. You don't yeah. need Ted. She looks at the champagne bottle. You do not need Ted. Like yeah. she is hiding it as and well. And I loved yeah. how she said to Ted. You just wait till Hope finds out because she's not a very forgiving person. Mm -hmm. yes. And she went yes. through. Kate went through all of her her men's. Yeah, you know, she was like her the, her bad the decisions. Men Larry, by. Aiden, some other one can't yeah. remember the name. Kate knew it though. Yeah. So, um, are we okay? Mm -hmm. For Ted, raise your hand if you're for Hope. Ted and Hope, raise your hand if you're for Ted and Kate. All right. Yeah. That's a vote. Problem solved. Survey says. Survey says. Well, because I think they're more alike. Oh yeah, you know I feel I mean? like they're they're a more logical pairing yeah. than than Hope and 
Yeah. Just bring yeah. Aiden back already. Like, oh. <laughs> don't even get me started about Aiden. Find a way to bring him back, tie his, you know, whatever he did bad, give him, let him get immunity or whatever, yeah. and then put him back with mm-hmm. hope. One phone call, done, done, done. Can be forgiven. And they also have their own side little, we need to take, you know, they, they have their own plan. Mm-hmm. You know, they're, dead, they're yeah. going with what Kristen is saying, but then they have their own plan to yeah. make sure... Uh, it goes down. Mm-hmm. We'll mm-hmm. see. All right, so uh, Eve, Jack, and Jennifer. Uh, oh, Miss Jennifer? <laughs> she is shady. <laughs> when he says to her, have you always been this much of a pest? Yeah. <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> I love when she, when okay, when she first comes on, it's like, I wanted you to read this first. Mm-hmm. You know, and she was like, you might not want, you might want to eat your breakfast first because you're going to lose your appetite. <laughs> and I was like, okay, she is stepping into the morning like Shane. And yeah. then and then she left and came back and Jack was like, oh. <laughs> 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 like, like, Jen, like, Jennifer reminds you of that woman who like always ha- holds her purse like this and she she walks with like a purpose <laughs> and then she walks away with a purpose and then when you see her coming again, you're like, oh my god, this Here bitch. Here she comes like, again. <laughs> I'm not dealing with this. Um, but I like that Jack does want his memory back, mm-hmm. and Eve mm-hmm. is like struggling. And it looks like he's like not feeling Eve. He's starting yeah. to turn. He's starting. Yeah. He's starting to. Break when he's away. with when he's with Jennifer, he resists. Mm-hmm. You know, he acts like a hole Jack. Mm-hmm. But when he's with Eve, you can see it starting to to turn where he wants his memories back. He wants to know. He wants to remember the Jack that he once was. Yeah. And I honestly yeah. believe he doesn't think his feelings are going to change for Eve. Even with the memories, yeah. he he truly believes that nothing's going to change. Mm-hmm. But, but she knows that. But she knows, yeah. Yeah, Eve made a good point saying, that's <clears throat> with you and Jennifer. You guys are on and off. You guys are like fireworks. One moment, you guys are hot for each other. Next minute, you're cold. That's your relationship. So mm-hmm. she knows. So Jack is saying, no, no, no. My feelings, like you said, aren't going to change at all. And she's like, no, you guys are already playing this game. And you don't even have your memories back yet. Yeah. I think I always feel like Jack, deep down inside, is kind of remembering feeling on mm-hmm. his own without the serum. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and I think that's where the conflict comes out. Like, he snaps in and out. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait. Agreed. Yeah. yeah. Agreed. I can't wait. All right. Well, on to some business. Yes. Uh, we just wanted to say <coughs> thank you for making us here at After Buzz the ESPN of TV talk. For us to continue to grow, we need some help. If you're on YouTube right now, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. And if you're listening to us on iTunes, please give us a five star rating and make a comment. Like Tony said, we love reading y'all's comments. But no matter where you are, leave a comment so you can get involved with the conversation because being a part of After Buzz TV has meant so much to us and we truly appreciate all of the support in us doing what we love. Yay. Don't forget to tell your friends and keep enjoying our shows. Yay! Yay. <laughs> that has been brought to you by the kind folks here at AfterBuzz TV. <laughs> All right, uh, so now we move on to Send the Fire. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> ah, but it just <laughs> popped up. Funny. That was good. That was, yeah, that was You're nice. uh, We have Sierra, Ben, Rafe, and Roman. Okay, first off, let me start off by saying I feel very bad for Ben yeah. that he's not able to see his nephew. Mm-hmm. But like, Rafe is being really nice about this. But He's not being a jerk. He's true. Like, here's the deal. Your sister doesn't want you to have anything to do with him. Yeah. However... Just give us a little time. Yeah. Is he going to fall through? I hope so. When he said that, yeah. like, my heart jumped for Ben. He's saying, you know, we'll revisit this if yeah. I get, you I know. believe yeah. him. Yeah. I believe yeah. Ray. I felt like that was a very rational conversation the two had. And, yeah. and Ben understood, and it was very mature and 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 reasonable. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I actually made a note. <clears throat> the maturity level, the writing the maturity level for both Sierra and Ben mm-hmm. really well right now. Yes. Mm-hmm. When Sierra had that moment with her mother... Showing the uh, unconditional love yeah, yeah. showed the maturity. When Ben <clears throat> had that conversation with Rafe, there's just a really beautiful maturity level yeah. to both of their characters right now. Mm-hmm. I Definitely. completely agree. Yeah, and I love that moment between Hope and Sierra. Such yeah. a great mother and daughter moment. I will love you no matter what, yeah. Mom. Yes. Hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> I gotcha. And even Hope is like, is that my daughter? Yeah, like, her facial expression. She's like, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Aww. And she's thank wiping you. the kiss off. Kiss, kiss. Oh, yes. whoa. <laughs> how, how awkward is um, is it when, like, you walk in and your mom is, like, making out? That's awkward. It's awkward. It's awkward. Yeah. It's awkward. But, again, attests to Sierra's maturity level. She knows that her mom's single and, 
you know. She wants her to just be she's happy. She's an independent she woman. <laughs> I don't know where all these songs are coming from. And I Jennifer says that too. She's like, all right, who's the next chapter in your life now? Yeah. I like that they've become drinking buddies. Oh, like, yeah. yes. I love this the mimosas revisit. Come out. I love this revisit, and it's the same situation. Like, Hope is there, and Jen- Jennifer comes in, thank God you're here. And she's like, yes. I need what you're drinking. Oh, well, the, and then, yeah. like, it goes from, like, so, tea, tea to coffee, mimosa. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then you just see they come back and they have the two. Well, mimosa. now that makes sense, because someone was, was saying how Jennifer was recovering, uh, a recovering addict, but it's from pills, pills not yeah. from alcohol. Right. Yeah, but I did have, th- I had that thought, too, because addiction is addiction. And, yeah. and so... I would think alcohol could trigger something, but suspension of yeah. you know, circumstances. Open arms. But Open arms, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's how I live exactly. my life. Um, all right, uh, moving on to... But there was one, one other thing, just ben, with, with, yeah. with oh. Hope and with, with uh, okay. Hope and Jennifer. True. Both of them decided, you know what? It's time to move on. Mm-hmm. So Hope decides she's going to move on with Ted. And then who does Jennifer oh, call? Oh, that's right. I forgot. She calls her... her, her Henry, her side, I just said, piece. Henry, oh. hang up the phone, Henry. Hang it up. I know. Here's the thing. We were all for Henry yeah. and Jennifer. Like, Absolutely. We, were, we weren't quite on the Jen and Eric. I wasn't on the Jen and Eric bandwagon. But I was all for some Dr. Shaw. Mm-hmm. And and you know we, he was introduced and it was like okay and then he was reintroduced and then when she made that phone call I was like girl if he comes back keep him because this is it. <laughs> like yeah. this is no, this it. is an ongoing joke if he comes back yeah. she's going to dump him because Jack I, will have his memory back I wonder if the actor that plays Doctor Shaw like had that like again. No, I mean, I'm, I'm sure, sure he's he was, like, yeah. Well, I'm sure he was like, yeah, put me back on. But yeah. like, really? Oh, like, so yeah. funny. He's like, book me. That's the story of my life. I got book it. me. She's like, hey, yeah, it's Jen. Mm. How are you? Dr. Shaw. Let's, let's keep him on the canvas for a little bit. Yeah. Why not? Oh, my God. All right. The other thing right. with Ciara is that she got fired she from got the... She got fired She got fired and really did not give two about awesome. it. So. How do you get fired from the family business? Because she never shows up. She never showed up. She's been kidnapped. <laughs> she's been, like, almost set on fire. Like, she's Ro- been Roman busy. had no sympathy. He was just no. like, well, like... And at the end, he has the help wanted sign. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, well, that's real quick. Dang. Okay, uncle. <laughs> so now she needs a job. Cool. So now Ben and Ben and her have nothing but time because he doesn't know what his job yeah. situation is now that Stefan's been mm-hmm. taken in or accused some of kidnapping. Time. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. some sin time. Bam, chicka, bam, wham. <laughs> mm. All right, uh, moving on to Abe, Lonnie, and Eli. Um, very cute moment mm-hmm. uh, with Eli asking for Lonnie's hand in marriage. Yeah, yes. and then so being like, "Sight, I already did it, but I just wanted to make sure." <laughs> and Abe was like, "Whoa, that's fine." Yes, and then they're hugging, and then Lonnie comes. She's just like, yes. He's like, yeah. It's all good. It's no. all good. I like them. Mm-hmm. Too. They're so funny. All right, moving on. <laughs> Eric, Sarah, and Rex. Oh, my God, Eric they and Sarah. Kiss. What yeah. the hell is that? Mm-hmm. Intense. Well, they, see, I kind of like that because now Eric is getting involved. Like, he's just not, like, in this mooning stage, you know? Like, mm-hmm. I feel like, okay, now he's it's starting to kind of heat up a little bit with him and Sarah. Because yeah. beforehand, we're like, Eric is just taking the back seat mm-hmm. in a lot of these plots. But now he's kind of, <clears throat> you know, and even when he's like, well, I'm going to be leaving Salem. She's mm-hmm. like, no, you I, can't. I had a moment of panic. It's like, oh, no, no, don't say that. Is he really, is he leaving? I was like, no, he ain't going to leave. Oh, good. I was glad. I was like, no, I don't buy it. Did you see the way he inhaled that spaghetti, though? Yeah, it must yeah. have been good. Like, I know. I just, I was like, I should have brought Eric. spaghetti okay, instead wait till of you sit down. He was like in motion, too. He didn't even wait to be like settled. He was just like, oh. <laughs> I was like, he was okay, hungry. Maybe. It was real spaghetti. It looked good. It looked good. I want spaghetti for dinner. And then they almost kissed. Oh, yeah, it does sound good. Right? And then Rex walks in. I know. He's like, and what's ev- going on? And everyone has the deer in headlights look like, oh. <laughs> Shaggy? Or they have the Jasmine Masters look. And I, oh. oh. <laughs> If you haven't seen that meme yet, you should. Um, Perfect. Um, All right. So that's it for the week. That's it. That was it. Okay. Let me clear my focus. (laughs) Because you know what that means. It's now time for our segments. And we're going to start with mine, which is Tony's official three snaps award. All right. So now listen. I have already said it. Uh, This 
these moments were <laughs> gold. <laughs> when Susan stepped up on the canvas from the displaying of the mask, from uh, her interactions with Brady, to the towel drop, to all of that, I was just, my, my hands were hurting from all the snapping <laughs> that I was doing. I was like, yes, Susan, yes. So, Stacey Haidu, who currently is playing Chris and Susan, you get Tony's official three snaps award. Snap. Especially for that look at Brady. <laughs> she was just kind of like... Devouring him. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And now it's time for... Is going to Miss Lauren Coslow, Yay! Kate. Oh, so this suit, Slade, it is, of course, a Diane von Furstenberg suit. Um, sold out on most venues, but I did find the jacket on Neiman Marcus. Mm. So this is a velvet Tommy Blazer by Diane von Furstenberg and a velvet Erica Trousers by DVF. It's going to run you a pretty penny. But it's one of those suits that if you want to make a statement and it will last you for years, it's worth the investment. So Lauren Coslow, you get... <laughs> and now it's time for... <laughs> Caption there! All right, this week's caption photo is of Xander in Eve's office making a phone call. And <laughs> this week's caption goes to Robert Seal, at Reality Robert, on the Twitter, with his caption of Xander saying to Eve, how come I'm the criminal and you're the one wearing the prison stripes? Oh. oh. Shade. Shade. And that, that has been. <laughs> and that has been. Sorry. Caption that. <laughs> All right. And now... It is time for the debut of a brand new segment, which I don't have audio for yet. I'm sorry. Okay. It, hasn't, it hasn't come to me yet. We like, haven't has, gotten it like yet. It's, it, the it's inspiration a, is usually 3 o'clock in the morning. Yes, and it's, it's very inspirational. <laughs> it's worth the wait, we promise. Yes, yes. So right now we're going to have the Aww. Aww. moment of the week. Aww. The week. All right, the all moment of the week goes out to sinners. Ben and Sierra at the Brady Pub, and Ted is talking about their future. And he quotes, I'm in a different stage of my life, thinking about the future. Maybe someday I'll have a family of my own. And right before he grabs his iced tea, he gives Sierra that nice smirk, and then she gets that bite lip, and she's excited. So <laughs> now that sinners don't have any jobs, who knows? They're <laughs> yeah, <boy. laughs> they could be getting busy. <laughs> That's a that's a lot. I like the I like the consistency of Ben with the iced tea now. Uh, me too. Because yes. there was that scene with Marlena with the iced tea. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 She's drinking iced tea yeah. again. Yes. yes. So okay. I'm wondering if that's going to be a, a regular thing. Well, listen, it's an upgrade from cereal. <laughs> and I'll never forget that moment. That Yay! Great. Good job, Chelsea. Yay! Thank you. All right, and now it's time for some news and gossip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Martha Madison, who we know and love as Belle on Days, has a new film out. The Price for Silence follows a woman who returns home after her father's death to confront the family that paid for her silence. Martha plays Deanna in the film, and the film also stars many other daytime alums. The film is available on Amazon, uh, Amazon Prime, and is also playing in real life here in Hollywood at the Arena Cine Lounge on Sunset. Oh, she fancy. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. And then our friends Paul and Keith at Starstruck Fan Events have several fun events coming up, starting with the Summer Fever in Terrytown, New York, August 10th. And join day stars Eric Mastoff, Greg Rickhart, Freddie Smith, and Giles Marning. The weekend includes a mix and mingle reception and a dinner sunset sleep hollow grave your yard tour. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. They got a lot going on in Terrytown. <laughs> yep. And uh, Myrtle Beach next. Uh, next up, Paul and Keith head to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Carolina for Starstruck Scott Talent. That's October. in my hometown. Yeah. Uh, so are you going to go? Uh, go ahead back? 
Yeah. Get the buddy pass? Mm. Oh, if I get that buddy pass, you know how I travel. <laughs> this takes place October 5th and 6th, and it uh, you can join stars Eric Martsoff, Nadia Bjorlin, Cassie DePaiva, and Jacob Young, who's from, I think, General Hospital in Bold and Beautiful, yep. correct? Mm -hmm. uh, for a weekend, uh, including a fun dinner on Saturday and a fa farewell breakfast on Sunday. All right, and then on Friday, November 8th, it's time for the annual Yesterday's event here in L.A. Join past day's cast member members Blake Barris, Olivia Rose Keegan, Nadia Berlin, visit Vincent, 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 Vincent Irizarry. Vincent Irizarry. <laughs> a lot of names here. Jody. Uh, Guy Wilson, John Powell, Paul Lavasar, Lavasar, Broody Hutzler, <laughs> Brandon <laughs> Beamer. These sorry. last names, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Girl. <laughs> this feels like an America's Next Top Model. <laughs> Like, I feel like there's a teleprompter. We told her, go. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, Patrick Darba, Mary Wilson, Rob Dierner. 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 I don't know who he is, but he, oh, was, he, was, was, he was a part of the... Remember when uh, uh, Brady and Nicole went on the run to Canada? Yes. He was oh, a part yeah. of that story. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. For a fun evening the night before Days of Days, info on all these events, including ticket options and hotel information, can be found at the StarstruckEvent.com on Twitter at StarstruckFans2! Exclamation point. All right. <laughs> the exclamation point was for the copy. Yeah. It's just StarStruckFans2! Yeah. Exclamation yeah. point. That was a very, like, uh, anchorman moment where you just, you literally read everything. I love it. Thank you for that moment. Good job. I, that was a lot. Oh, well so, done. I'm going to take this clip just for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the time that you have been waiting for. Fasten your seatbelts. <laughs> we have live in our studio, without her mask, we have Miss <laughs> Stacey Haidu and Paul Tepler. <laughs> Hi, Stacey, how are you? Welcome to our fun little show. Our humble abode. <laughs> <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> um, so we're, we're going to have fun. We're going to talk. We're going to talk about everything because we have so many questions, especially mm -hmm. after this week. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. oh, it's such a great week. week. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, so let's just start off with, like, the questions about the mask. Like this. What mask? The, <laughs> Which one? What are you talking about? <laughs> this it was already on. <laughs> really? In disguise. <laughs> this week, like seriously, has been the the hilarity of of stealing the mask and then replacing it with the Nacho Libre mask yeah. and then Susan arriving on the camp. Like, <laughs> I have been in heaven all week. I'm so it was glad. Good. It's week. been a fun show. <laughs> <laughs> it was a crazy week for us shooting. I can yeah. imagine. Yeah. I can only imagine. Okay, so first off, just starting back with when you got the call to come back to Days and this storyline was presented where you were, you and Ari Zucker are now kind of playing each other. Right. Um, what were your thoughts like? Was it like, sure, or was it like, what? Well, yes. <laughs> what is it? Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then, but you know, the first time I came on, it was the teeth. Yes. Getting yes. the teeth done. Yes. Second time, it's like, you're going to go get a, a plaster, you know, of your face. I'm like, yeah. Okay, so I'm going back. He says it, we went through the whole process, and and then when they told me it was kind of the Mission Impossible thing, I was yes. like, what? <laughs> yeah. So it was it was all that. And then after like getting the scripts and learning about the story, it was uh, I I really enjoyed it. I, I've, I've been I will. There was so much fun to be yeah. had, especially with you two. Like, what is it like working with each other and keeping this like dynamic duo going? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you want it? Well, it, I'll, I'll I'll put it this way. He's a black to work with yeah. and um, we have great chemistry and it's fun to play off of each other yeah. and we never know what one's going to do next <laughs> so it's kind of just anticipating you know we do this little stare down someone so, you know, and he's like I'm not going to blink I'm not going to blink not either. <laughs> we were going to ask you that is it true that you don't blink during a scene and you told Stacy that and she's like fine I don't blink either that's it's pretty, exactly right it, it depends on the scene obviously if I've got like a nice scene with Suzanne Rogers I'm not like Staring at <laughs> like, like trying to get her. 
<laughs> but like generally, it's like a nice like Hannibal Lecter thing to do uh-huh. if you're supposed to be the psycho character. Is just be, oh really? That is, well, I'll just not blink then. Bye. <laughs> uh, just hold it. Um, but with Stacy, <laughs> I was gonna let him win. <laughs> Stacy's crazier in real life than Sandra is on a soap opera, so you can't win. So like, not only so, so my other trick is to like slowly like move in on someone as I'm doing it. And you know, then, you know, you know when we run out of dialogue at the end of a scene, yeah, or not yeah. even at the end of a scene, at the end of these like fragments of scenes that we do, and you just kind of like trail off and look yeah, at each other. Yeah. So like, sometimes I'll just be like, no, I'm just gonna lean in. And so Stacy will, will do it as well. well. Say, so then they started so then, shooting us. So we're over here, and then, and then we're then slowly. <laughs> by the end of each scene, we're always like. <laughs> and we're also, they're always like, "Oh, do that thing that you do. Do that thing that you do all the time." <laughs> well, Le- Lamone recently posted. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, he really got one of those long in scenes, and he was just like, "I'm getting lost in your eyes." <laughs> <laughs> but then I was kind of like, "Me too." <laughs> I'm like, do more. Well, because it's a fine line, isn't it, between, like, flirting with someone and, yeah. you know, murdering them. Like, you know, there's always yeah. that. You, know, you could go either way. But it's fun with Lamone because, like, you know, he's such a beautiful man. Yeah. 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 And, yes. you know, at least he's also tall and physical and everything else. So, like, I can't necessarily do the same tricks that I would do when I'm, like, intimidating Jen Lilly or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Especially when he's a cop and he's got a gun <laughs> and I'm in his office. So I'm, I'm just left with, like, you know, being like, all right, I'm just going to stare at you. And then, to be fair, on that one, I wasn't super sure whether the scene was over, or whether he'd forgotten his line, or whether I'd forgotten my line. And so I was just like, and then he said that, I was like, I'm pretty sure they didn't script that. So. You know, speaking of physical, the, the chemistry between the two of you, you two are very physical with each other. Mm-hmm. So is that choreographed ahead of time, or are you just, I mean, you yeah, wish you had the luxury the of it, but... It, it is like they look after us. We've usually got Terry there to like make sure there's nothing sharp and point <laughs> on the floor yeah, pointing yeah. up at us. But it's just the nature of the way we produce the show. Like it's very fast, and mm-hmm. you know we get a quick blocking rehearsal and then a very quick, if we're lucky, pre-tape rehearsal, and then we just kind of go. We just go. So yeah, a lot of that is just trust. Put you like, and I together, and because you just are all over him. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm all over him when I do this. Yes. Yes. You know, yeah. trying to get the mask from him. And, oh, it was amazing. But that that just ended up being, um, it was all different. It was blocked yeah. totally different. Yeah. And then we were in rehearsal and he just grabbed me and I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they're like, and he's like, she's like, and I go, and I go, are you supposed to move over there? He's like, no, this is going to work, right? <laughs> this is going to work. This is good, like, right? Yeah, this is mine. So we just like kept it and, and it worked really well. And, and so I, yeah. Well, I mean, just, you know, not to get like. To, to like subtext or whatever is actually going on with, with, with these characters but to be fair like Xander's supposed to be this you know uh, Lothario around town like he's had lots of experience with women but then I never really get any action on the show no. because of like the nature of, of my character yeah. and now you know he's like head over heels like puppy dog in love with uh, Sarah or at least he's trying to come across like yes. he's a good guy who could be that, that in love in that way with somebody mm. But he's not getting any. So all of a sudden, you know, he's around like this, you know, sultry femme fatale who's like constantly changing and like different looks, different this, and like prowling around, like, drinking her champagne, drinking her martini. So it's like every now and then he's got to like, you know, his eyes have got to be turned by it a little bit. Yeah. And so like, especially when she's all like, maybe, I mean, I, remember, I, feel, I feel like when that was scripted, it was like, I can make it worth your while. It was almost more supposed to be like, I'll pay you, I'll do whatever. Yeah. But just the way we landed on the day, it was like, oh no, it's really this. Yeah. <laughs> this is where we are. just trying like, so hard to get that mask back. Yeah, so it's yeah. like, if I get closer and closer and closer, maybe right. I can reach it out and grab it. Yeah. But his arms are so long. Yeah. It's just like, oh, my God. <laughs> well, you know? Secretly, I, we're kind of rooting for Xander and Sarah. Like, mm-hmm. even though yeah. it's like it's this whole, like, sweet. triangle yeah. thing, we're like, hmm, Xander and Sarah could work. Yeah. Look, I, I, I get that it's like it's a so jarring sweet. shift yeah. from, um, you know, the way he he's tends to be. But for the most part, Xander, like, it's weird to talk about him in the third person. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of what it but is, right? For the most part, Xander ha- you know, has been both written and played as somebody who has, like, extreme shifts of emotion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sometimes in the same episode, sometimes in the same scene. Like, mm-hmm. he'll do these big, like, shifts. Mm-hmm. And, um, like, for me, the whole thing with the way he's reacting to Sarah, like, so, like, when they first, like, had sex. Yeah. And she was all drunk and he, you know, was there for her. Which we love drunk Sarah. Drunk Sarah's the best. <laughs> <laughs> Messy Sarah is the Messy best Sarah. Sarah. Xander's a particular fan of that Sarah. But, <laughs> but 
I think in the aftermath of it, outside of him just being super attracted to her and her being like way, way, way out of his league in terms of her like legitimacy and mm-hmm. like being an actual good person mm-hmm. and, and all that, um, I think in his head the only way he can even feel things like that is to go back to the kind of person he was before he became like a psychotic Xander, yeah. right? diamond smuggling, so, yes, murdering, yeah. elephant person, like all the things yeah. that I'm always doing. Oh god, the like, elephant. You have to go all the way back. Yeah. And, yeah. and for me, like you know, he tends to have these kind of like juvenile reactions to like women when they um when when they betray him. Mm-hmm. Like he was with Nicole and you know, he just throws his toys out the pram and wants to kill everybody. Yeah. So although it kinda of makes sense that he would be the same when he decides to like be in love with someone mm-hmm. and may- maybe it would be as extreme you know where he becomes like you know, upset where somebody else is wearing a necklace that was stolen from somebody <laughs> else or, you know, all, all that stuff which I understand can be jarring but, but to me it kind of makes sense that he reverts into this kind of like boyishness which yeah. is then fun for me to then immediately shift back to oh wait a minute Nasty Xander. <laughs> well, I don't know. There's there's one other pairing that we feel like could have happened, maybe almost happened, but didn't. So you we're were gonna. Say, you were saying that Xander doesn't get any. He had the opportunity to. Yes. He definitely had an opportunity to, and we have a clip here. Potential super You know, couple. just this in one? case you might have forgot about this sweet little the, moment. The super couple that oh. wasn't. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. What are you doing? I thought we could discuss my offer. A roll in the hay in exchange for the leverage I used to get Sonny to marry me. Yeah, I'm still mulling it over. <laughs> I know how badly you want to be in charge of Tiny. If you'd like, we can seal the deal right now. <laughs> so, when, when this happened, we were oh all God. kind of like... Wait a minute. You were? <laughs> no wonder he got so mad at me. This could be a pairing that no one saw coming. The chemistry mm-hmm. between the two of you was insane. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, so much it's fun. Wonderful. Greg's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. You know, part of when people talk about chemistry is just actors doing their jobs properly, yeah. and he does his job really, really well. Yes. And Greg's amazing. But also, yeah, like, you know, chem- <laughs> part of chemistry is just that trust when you can yeah. roll with somebody yes. when everything's kind of sort of almost live. Like, it is when we shoot it and they're just gonna like pick it up and you know if a moment gets fumbled they'll they'll <laughs> they'll, turn it around yeah. and, and find a new one <laughs> for you exactly right. and he's great at that yeah. and he was just he understood i mean i still feel like a newbie with all you know the daytime stuff and <laughs> you know like he's more experienced more, he was more experienced yes. <laughs> <laughs> he's been doing it he really led me through, he really led me through the whole he's very gentle <laughs> and, um, <laughs> but what was funny about it is that you know you were asking earlier with, with stacy how did you feel when you were presented with this storyline yeah, yeah. Like, it's like we're not presented with no, storylines so like, like, when you come back on the show and yes. you're like oh let me check my schedule yeah, yeah. Like, come back on the show, <laughs> and oh, here's what you're doing. Oh, really? Okay. And you know, so I, I think maybe by the time we were shooting that, I knew a bit of where it was going, but I don't yeah, yeah. know. Like, yeah. They don't tell. Yeah, us they don't things. tell you. They kind of yeah. like give you the scripts, like maybe a week at a yeah. time. So which is, we feel lucky to get yeah. them that early, so yeah. at least we can learn them. <laughs> yeah. you know but I mean? then you have no time to learn them because you, you, you know, you're, you're learning trying, the you're stuff from last week still. And you're if you're busy, and then you get it, you're like, oh my god, this is okay. Okay, this is what I'm doing. It's like, all right, let's go. So very often we're just like reacting, you know, reacting, you know, to what's going on. But it was something like that. I'd always assumed and had always thought that that was a really good opportunity. There was always an opportunity there to do a story like that with Sander. Yeah. Because he is super mercenary, like both um, in terms of criminal things, but also like just generally, like he, he just, he's just out for himself and yeah. to get what he can when he can. And because it had never been explicit, like just stated that he is 100% straight. Yeah. Like there's no reason why they couldn't have just gone, you know what? It, yeah. Let's just do this with Sandy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, all right, let's just roll with the punches and see what happens. And, you know, because it's a soap opera, they can still decide at any point to be like, you know what, maybe he is. Yeah. So you kind of just got to play it in, yeah. in a way that allows for all those possibilities. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, be specific enough that it can still be fun on on the day. So, yeah, I, I'm glad that... Be, I, I know some people were a bit like, well, you know, is, is, is this... 
you know, this is just the kind of thing that we really want to be doing with, you know, one of the few gay characters that we have on the show. It is funny because the guy who plays the gay character, Greg, was like, yes, actually, this is exactly what we need to be doing. <laughs> we, well, we were sitting here like, yes, 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 we know this story very well. Not me in particular. <laughs> Taylor's old as time. Yeah, yeah. No, it was, it was great. And I, we always felt like, you know, even if it wasn't like a romantic thing, just to have Xander and Leo just like as the this duo right. oh, yeah. plotting together. Yeah, it would have would have been amazing. Mm -hmm. so. Try the third party. We can be like, you know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Add a little twist in there. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine if Leo tried on the mask and became Nicole? Oh, <laughs> what would that be like? Oh. We we were just talking. About I mean, that. Brady's dumb, but he ain't oh. bad. <laughs> Listen, Poor Brady. All you, all you need is some good padding and a good stiletto, <laughs> and you are all in it. And you just walk right <laughs> um, For you, Stacey, because um, you were taking over the role as as Kristen from mm. from Eileen, and yeah. you know, <laughs> we were we were all sitting here like. All right. I know, judgment. Let's, let's, let's see how this is going to go. I was in judgment, too. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to be able to do this. No, I want to say, though, I was excited when I heard, because I watched you on YNR, and oh. when you were Patty, Patty and Emily, Emily and, and Tall with the, yeah, Mr. Kane. Kitty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all of that. So when... And you know when you hear like a popular characters being recast like that, sometimes you go, "Hmm." I was all for it oh, after thank you. because I knew <laughs> what you were capable of from from Y and R. And I'm kind of curious whether they reached out to you specifically. Yes, they did. Oh. Yes, uh, I kind of I nice. kind of had that that thought in my head because mm -hmm. I'm like, if anyone can do this, it's you. Well, and I appreciate I, that. Yeah. Absolutely, no. I, I, I was I was Team Stacy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> I, I know totally this. Yeah. Well, I. I mean, no shade. I was one of the ones that was like, all right, let's see how this is going to go. But the second you hit the screen, and I was like, okay, I'm feeling Kristen. And then the moment you showed up as Susan, I was Done. like, she's got it. <laughs> I was like, I can't even, I can't tell a difference anymore. Like, oh, it, that's so good. It, it's amazing how it, the, the transition was just kind of flawless. Because you know mm -hmm. how some, sometimes it takes people like a little warming up, you know, yes. especially for a character they, they're, they're not used to. Well, especially Susan, like she's. Oh yeah, Eileen played her very, you know, specifically, yeah. and it was created very specifically. And I, I'm curious how much you studied that character. I, I think that's what we were all curious about. Yeah. How, how Susan was going to come off. Like, yeah. like look, that first mine, mine, mine. I was like, <laughs> I was like, we got it, we got it right, y'all, we got it right. Yeah. Well, first wait, of all, sorry, you put so, teeth in. But, what? When, what? They, when they asked you to do the show. <laughs> uh, the first Kristen storyline was all the warehouse stuff uh, mm -hmm. that, that you, you did. Well, I came did back you know, as the wedding. Mm -hmm. Did you know yeah. then that it also entailed Susan and yes. all that stuff? Yes, when they called me in New York, I was literally in New York with my daughter, and they said, um, I, I got the call from my agent, and I said, there's, you know, call me back ASAP. So I'm like, oh, God, oh, God, what's going on? <laughs> and I got a call, and he's like, you got an offer for days. And mm -hmm. he says, and I said, oh. Thank God, because you know, <laughs> if you haven't worked as an actor for a while, you go, "Oh my God, I need, I need to work because yeah. it's, it's your creative output." Mm -hmm. And so, I um, got the call from Marnie, who's the casting director of Days, mm -hmm. and she literally says, "Okay, so this is two characters you're playing: one's Susan and one's Kristen." And I remember Eileen talking about that on Y and R. You know how, because when we did the dual character, she was just like empathized with what I was going through. So when I got this, I was like, oh my God, oh my God, I've got to like, you know, be in the shoes of Eileen Davidson, which is going to be, people are going to hate me. Yeah. But, I was <laughs> <laughs> but when coming on, so yeah, I knew it was Susan. That was the first thing they said you got to go in and dye your hair blonde mm -hmm. and get teeth. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, so what is had, this? You had to get the teeth yourself. Well, they made them. They, I had to go oh, in, and the guy who did the face, fixed. Nicole Mass, yeah, yeah. did the same for the teeth. And okay. what was interesting is I, 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 I don't know anything about either one of these characters. So yeah. I was like trying to find something online. And mm -hmm. then they finally sent me some tapes like the week before we started shooting. And I'll tell <laughs> wow. you something. I was, I, I got like a 50 page, um, you know, Past history, biography, oh like all a Kristen the... Bible or Susan. Oh Bible. my God! Yeah. Oh I know that was a lot. I yeah. just was going, oh my God! Okay, skip to. I said, can it, and they sent me like I think six or seven discs of of Kristen, um, Eileen playing Kristen, and Susan. And uh -huh. So I just started watching as much as I could, and then mm. finally, when you, but when you're on the set, I mean, you just got to go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, so you you and some of it's 
it's some of the the mannerisms and physical the physicality mm -hmm. but then you have to take over it yeah. you have to yeah. become yeah. that so yeah it was scary and I'll tell mm -hmm. you every day that first week <laughs> I was literally up till like one o'clock in the morning running lines uh -huh. in my head and writing them and mm -hmm. and then running with my husband with the teeth because they let me yeah. <laughs> you have to understand the things that like, yeah it's like yeah. they're the you know it's almost get the lift yeah. stuff in it. so you're trying so hard and I looked at him like I don't think I can do it. <laughs> 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 that was it. Then the next day, you just got to go for you it. it. And I was so nervous. Well, <laughs> you were amazing. Well, you have been so, amazing. So like it's, and I and I know stepping into that role has to be nerve wracking because especially you. You know, all the fans are like. Well, what's she gonna do in this? <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. So, you know, some fans yeah. can be your best friend, yeah. or they can, they can be yeah, very unforgiving. Yeah. 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 I remember them all being mad at me when I came on the show for having the temerity to be British and, and, <laughs> and, not, and not Jane Scott. Like they were just like, "Who's this guy? <laughs> we had a perfectly good British on the show before. <laughs> what <happened? laughs> what's this?" Like, just like, I was like, Sorry, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, excuse me. Uh, and Stacy, that's what I wanted to know too, because when you were in YNR, you played two. people people you played Emily and you played Patty so yeah. do you think that storyline helped you prepare for this for days yes very much so and mm -hmm. I think they knew that I could handle the material and, and you know when they saw that I know that Ron um, who's the head, head, writer. head writer and um, Marnie both talked about that and they both were saying, you can, you can handle this. You can, you can this. handle this material. And I'm like, okay. I can. I can. <laughs> well, you do a phenomenal job. Thank you. you. Uh, very, this very was much. my favorite week of the year. Oh, well, Love we, it. Uh, so we had a blast. So yeah. yeah. Yes. And it just keeps unraveling. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, Kristen and Susan, which one's more demanding? Oh, God, the most actor. demanding. They um, are. You know, the thing is, is I'm I'm kind of a dork like Susan. I, I really am. I, and so Kristen is, I, I give them both body languages, you know. Mm -hmm. So when I get in there, I can physicalize it and then go on with all the wonderful dialogue that I can just say. <laughs> <laughs> and do. Um, but uh, Kristen is very... She's smart and intellectual, and I am just kind of a doofus. And so when I have this dialogue, and he helps me <laughs> write words, oh my god, he helps me get learn my lines sometimes. And I'm just like, blah, blah, blah. and I'll go over it, and I'm like, I'll stop. I'll go, oh my god, I can't do this. And he's like, yes, you can, yes, you can, yes, you can. So as Susan, though, you can kind of, you know, kind of just, you just do play. anything and play. And yeah. I just let her, I let her physic, because her body chemistry mm. is very, very yeah. all over the place. Yeah. She is not shy to touch. She is not shy to do anything. No. Especially oh. this week. Oh. Not, oh. Shy, oh. not shy to touch. When, when Brady walked out with just his towel, oh my God. I will say Susan and I both made the same facial oh. expression. I was like, Woo. ooh. And she couldn't keep taking her yeah. eyes off the, like, yep. I yep. gotta get that towel Me down. too. And as soon as that towel dropped, I was like, yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Well, as Susan, Kristen, that because it's Kristen playing Susan. Mm -hmm. She yeah, was yeah. able to really like just like. Yeah. And I remember Albert, who's who's the, one of the um, producers on set, who helps us out. He says, "Just go for it." Yeah. And so yeah. it was just like when they say "go for it" to me, I go oh, for you it. Go. <laughs> you go. The crew puts on helmets. So. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're all kind of scared. <laughs> well, speaking of, of maybe the crew wearing helmets, um, <laughs> who keeps having to clean up this hotel room after? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think I get Xander to come in and sweep right. it up with this little maid outfit on. Right? Oh, I'm sorry. That's a sight to see. No, but there, there was a moment where we were just like, first of all, we the scene has to be fun to play because it's like that day at work, you're like, all right, like I can let out some aggression today. But then after like the second or third time, we were like, who's cleaning up this room? The part I loved it. is when he had the food and I right. opened, I, I, I grabbed the food bag and the groceries and I, it just, I wanted, it was supposed to open up. Well, yeah. it didn't open up, and I got frustrated. <laughs> I, I wanted to see the food, and I did it. And yet, after the take, he goes, nobody would have known that the, you didn't see the food. I'm like, but I didn't see the food go all over the place. And so they're all, like, moving, you know, brooming it away from us. All the it was hilarious. But I love doing those scenes. It is. It's like, rah, you know? So fun. I love it. And, I, and even when, uh, when there was a moment where we were wondering, well, how does Kristen have the uh, Nicole voice? And it was just this little... Little thing. Yeah, right just here. here. 
I was like, oh, okay, these are all little tricks of the trade that oh, are yeah. happening here. I was taking a little notes just in case, you know. Just in case. Just in case. You never know when you just want to be someone else for and a second. And you get one of those little voice things and just, just get a mask. Just put it right here and a mask. And a mask. And just be and like, just, you can be anybody. Yeah, you want. anybody you want. <laughs> <laughs> Until you get a nacho, nacho libre that, mask. And, well, if he delivers that, yes. And that you have a Gabby yes. at the door who won't go away. <laughs> <laughs> go away. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to get in that gruff voice, that so she wouldn't know that it was. She didn't have the little voice thing at that. No. <laughs> Speaking of being someone else, so on the dual app, Paul. You do a John Black audition. Right. Yes. <laughs> Could you share that moment? Well, uh, just quickly. <laughs> Could you so, share that moment well, the, one the, more time? There was a thing that we did on the show um, not too long ago. Oh, I'm going to knock over the note. Um, with T-Boss, where, yeah, uh, yeah. where I like sneak in and I pretend to be mm -hmm. John Black. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so in rehearsal, I did my, my semi- worked on Drake impersonation <laughs> and all the crew were, were like laughing along and enjoying it and the director was like yeah let's do that um, but then unfortunately the producer was like ah, we can't because later on that's one of the things that she clicks is that you have a, an odd accent yeah, like, yeah. Like, an accent that she didn't recognise um, so you have to do it all, all British and so I was like alright well I guess it will just be more like a bit James Bond thing instead of a John Biden. but no my thing with, with like Drake's the best like he is still he doesn't when you when you talk to him, he doesn't really talk. The, I don't want to. I don't want to say this the wrong way. Like he doesn't um, present himself necessarily as as an actor. He presents himself as a baseball player. Oh yes. Oh yes. Who's been acting on a television show for decades, right? But he's still a baseball player. So a lot of his, you know, uh, perspective on work and scenes and everything we're doing is ultimately baseball based. Mm -hmm. And I don't know a lot about baseball because where I'm come, uh, where I come from, we don't play it. Um, the English have a version of it called cricket that Scottish people also don't play. So I'm very <laughs> far removed from any of it. But the main thing is like you, you just got to get yourself all. <laughs> Everything's forward and in and and, then, and so then you got to then you got to bring it into your face. And so like that all becomes very. And then, <laughs> then it's like you've got. It's not chewing tobacco. I don't know what it is, but you. There's something. <laughs> there's something in your mouth, and before you speak, you've got to move it out of the way every time. And then, so th th that's what I, I can't do the voice voice, but I can I can certainly do all the the, the, the mannerisms, the, the, be the beginnings of it, <laughs> to get you where you can finally go. <laughs> Doc. <Right. No, laughs> I don't know. That'll do. Matt Ashford does it perfect. Oh, oh he does. He does. I, I yes. can only imagine that. <laughs> well, we speaking of masks and, and fun, we have a fun little game for you guys. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm scared. The, dr the drinking game? Do we have wine? I love that. Greg Wicker, come in. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so we've uh, we found some uh, very notable, iconic masks that you all have to identify. Oh, God. Right? He's going to know them all. In so <laughs> I'm going to give you just a quick little uh, See, hint. Like, no. And then you have to tell me where this mask is from. So this is the first one. This mask was worn by a freedom fighter who attempts to ignite a revolution through elaborate terror sacks. And we just saw this. Do you remember it? Well, it's it's a Guy Fawkes mask, as worn by yes. the character V in V. V in Vendetta. That's it. Yeah. That's the right one. I knew it, but you, you can answer. I'll just go, I know it. All right. You still get points. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, this mask, uh, our next one, is uh, worn by someone who's often referred to as the angel of music. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Fair Marsha. Marsha. That's it. That's Yay. it. That's it. High five. She's on the board. That was a very <laughs> Arnold Marsh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I know, that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now this mask should be very familiar. Uh, this mask was worn by Ignacio, a monastery cook who takes on a secret identity to pursue a lifelong dream. Nacho Libre. That's oh, it. good job. <laughs> <laughs> Nacho. And oh. last mask is worn by bank clerk Stanley Ipkiss, who is transformed <laughs> into a manic superhero when he puts on this mysterious mask. The mask. That's it. Harry. Look at you yes. guys. You guys are great. You know your mask. I do. You do. <laughs> and you're, you're worried. You're I know. Worried. I'm you're worried. Like, oh, no, no, I mean, me. You don't know. Because no, you know no, what? No. My brain goes 
goes glitch. It goes boop. And then it's like, I look at him, I'm like, no, I know it. I know it. It would take me an hour to figure it out, but I'll know it. I'll, oh. she, she'll drive home and go, oh, that, that, that was it. That was it. <laughs> Don't you have those moments when you like want to say something? Yes. Yes. The comeback oh, line yes. comes like yes. an hour later. Well, oh, I, that would have been brilliant. These, yeah. are, these are my moments now. I'll start saying something, and then I go, no idea. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 yes. I've really noticed that yeah. since they legal uh, legalized marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> Real uptick. <laughs> and there's one just across the street. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think there's two. Oh, there's, there's two. two. There's okay. two more. No, I'm 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 not a, a partaker of that. However, come I have friends. Yes. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> um, you guys, if, if you're still tuning in, we are obviously here with Stacey Hyde and Paul. Tell for, uh, I always stumble over your last name, Paul. I'm sorry. Like, Many I people feel do. Like, it's I, fine. I feel like I know it, and then I don't know it, and then it's like my people my hesitate at the last second. That one moment, that yeah. hesitation. Yeah. That's it. Paul, because I always go Telfer, but it's Telfer. 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 Yeah. I guess people struggle with the middle of words because your yes. brain is designed to like just scan things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I had a funny. I was doing a convention ages ago with. Oh God. <laughs> Poetry. I can't remember her name, but a very famous actress, <laughs> a very famous actress from Vampire Diaries, was about to introduce me on the show, and right before she was like, "Is it Teffler or Telfer?" Yes. And I was like, "It's Telfer." She's like, "Telfer." I was like, mm-hmm. "And then Telfer." I was like, "Got it." And then Great. what did she do? Hey, everybody, it's Paul Teffler. Yes. <laughs> I was like, so it's fine. Yes, yes. This one works. Oh my as long as I get paid, I don't care. <laughs> Say my name however you want. Just make sure that checks. I get that check. Yes. <laughs> well, you guys, in just a few minutes, we're gonna uh, start taking your phone calls. Uh, you can call us at four two four three five four eight three zero two. That's four two four three five four eight three zero two. Call in, talk to us live. We are obviously having a an amazing fun time, <laughs> so you definitely want to be a part of it. Um, one. Uh, other thing uh, I just realized a couple weeks ago Paul and I actually messaged you about it um you were in a little commercial that just happened. Oh, look at yourself. Oh. It's a, it was Honda's <laughs> Random Acts of Kindness. Ha, ha, was it was the Helpful Honda people? Uh, the yeah. Helpful Honda people. And yeah. I was literally sitting there and I was like, who's that? Wait a minute. <laughs> and I literally took a picture and sent a message, and I was like, well, how helpful were they? <laughs> well, it's funny because, well, first of all, I do drive a Honda. You drive a Honda. I drive a Honda. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're, Very Honda. Helpful. we're already Honda people. Um, no, it's funny. All these years of like trying to book a commercial in LA, and I finally get one, and it's for free. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Did they at least uh, give you the car? Well, no. no, they gave us, they bought our, our, our breakfast. Oh, like, that was so, nice. So, like we'd we'd be sat there. It was my friend Damien's, um, who's in the commercial as well, a birthday, and I was treat, I was trying to treat her to birthday brunch. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and like halfway through our our brunch, um, the table next to us went oh like that, and then looked across and waved to somebody. We're like oh they must they must know something. Anyway, back to our conversation. <laughs> and so things happened. We talked about stuff as people do at brunch. <laughs> and then the check came. And I was like, no, no, no. All like magnanimous. Like, <laughs> <"Hello>, me, ladies. <laughs> and she's like, oh, no, it's okay. It's already been paid. I was like, would you not? Uh oh. Uh-uh. And then they point over, and it's the two people from the commercial, like, waving at us. I'm like, oh, that's it. <laughs> Didn't think any more of it. Thought that was it. And then went, we even went over and, like, said hello to them. Like, oh, that's really cool. What a cool job. Like, hey, <laughs> how long have you been doing it? Great, great. Okay, bye. Then we walk out, and then, like, three people run at us with clipboards saying, oh, can you sign these releases just in case we're using the commercial? And we're, we were like, oh, oh. well, <laughs> to be fair. I'm an actor. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on a daytime show right now. My wife's an actress. She's like done a bunch of stuff on Broadway, and she's in a Tom Hanks movie that's coming out in a minute. And Damien's also an actress, and here's all the things she's done. Are you sure that's cool? Is that what you want? And they're like, oh, we don't care. We probably won't use you anywhere. And we're like, great. <laughs> as long as I get some free brunch. And, was like, oh. and then literally like a month later, I've forgotten all about it. And I walk into work, and uh, one of the guys, one of the grips at work is like, hey, uh, you know, I thought those commercials were real. <laughs> you know, I've been watching these all these, you know, all these years they've been doing it. I thought they were real people. But it's just actors. And I was like, no, no, we are real people. We just happen to be actors. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, like I say, all, all these years, and 
you know, I've gone to a lot of commercial auditions over the years. I'm very close. Yeah. Oh, very, yeah. Very Don't close you love to lots that? of things. Yeah. And I finally get a Honda commercial <laughs> and they paid me in eggs. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I finally booked my first commercial too. Uh, which was, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> you know those people uh, on the diet commercials who are like, I lost 21 Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was that guy. <gasps> on the Congratulations on your was weight loss. Was it real? It was real. So, oh, I love so that. I got, we, we got training for two months. We had like this thing, this eating regimen and all that kind of stuff. And, and I lost 21 pounds. Okay. And so I was like, great. My first national commercial. And I'm the guy that's like, I lost 21 pounds on the South Beach diet. <laughs> Thank you. And I gained them all back. <laughs> Thank you. Check, please. <laughs> <laughs> but it was fun. I'm eventually going to, to get to, down to that weight. Fabulous. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Stacy. <laughs> Thank you. Um, well, we have some phone calls. We're gonna. We, these are gonna go great. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> so Another nervous. one. I go. I'm scared. <laughs> these are gonna go great. We're gonna take our first caller right now. Hello, caller. Welcome to Afterbus TV's Dish and Days. You're on live. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi. 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 <laughs> What's your name? Dwight from Louisville. Well, hi, hey, Dwight. Dwight. How Hello. are you? <laughs> hi, Stacy. Hi, Paul. Hi. How are you? Hi, who are you? Do you have a, a question or comment for Paul and Stacy? Yes. Uh, um, I love the, the scene from the show where Will and Sonny opened the door and, and found Susan there. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Which and Susan, I thought that though? Was fun. The real Susan with the funny. fakes, yeah, they were pretty surprised both times when they saw Susan coming. <laughs> yeah, because you're not only playing... Uh, I was playing Kristen's Susan, and then she Kristen leaves, and then Susan. as Susan. And then Susan yeah. comes back, and then having to figure out which Boys, two was... Yes. And I mean, because we did everything on that, I mean, it was all right. on one day, so it was like, you know, you go a little... I'd go, where the heck am I? Like, yeah, what am I yes. doing? It's like, which one am I? Yes. <laughs> We're back to you. Sorry, I just got a little bit of talk. <laughs> What's your question, Dwight? What was it like working with Chandler Massey? Oh, well, we both can answer that. We, but He's just wonderful to work with. He's... Uh, Sweet to look at. <laughs> and he's a lot of fun. He's always present there. I, I, I enjoy it. Yeah, he's ripped now. Yeah, like, I, I know. It's like crazy no. shows. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like, like, yeah. you don't know. Like, you don't really pay attention. I mean, I'm terrible. I go to work, like, get my makeup on, <laughs> sit in the chair, get pushed out in front of the cameras, and I go home. Yeah. Right? You know, and so you don't necessarily pay a ton of attention to everything that's going on mm. with everybody because there's, like, 75 main characters in this cast. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but then, like, one day, like, literally getting my makeup done, and I see in, in the, the makeup mirror, um, like, somebody, like, taking their shirt oh, off. Oh, yeah, all, like, super, get there. super buff, whatever. Yeah. I was like... Oh, the new dude on the show. Because I'm always like, oh, that's my job. <laughs> <laughs> and they saw the show. you and they all got like, ooh, we're going to go pump up. But then sure enough, it was, it was Chandler. It was like, and then when he walked in, I was like, there's no, I was like, there's, there's no straight way to say this, but looking really good. <laughs> Great job, buddy. Um, oh, yeah. Listen, oh, yeah. We, we saw that Instagram post and we were all yeah. like, Huh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Looking real good. Real good. Yeah. Well, thank you, Dwight, for that question. Dwight is a huge fan of, of Chandler's. So, oh, yes. wow. Well, yes. yes. Great taste. Yes. yes. Great taste. Absolutely. All right. Let's take another caller. Hey, caller. You're on live on Afterbus TV's Dish and Days. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, it's Mike Riley from New York. Oh, hey. Mike hey. Riley. Mike Riley <laughs> has been a longtime fan and supporter of our show. We so. appreciate you, Mike. Yes. yes. So, Mike Riley. No, for, for someone so young. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Mike. The floor is yours. Okay, thank you. Um, well, hello to everyone. Hey. Uh, hello. I just wanted to to give my compliments to your, to your two guests because I, I truly – Love them both. Um, I'll start with Paul. Um, I, I think that you should be on the show, carrying on the as the the head of the of the uh, Kiriakis household because yeah. you bring Whoa. something so fresh and new and dynamic, and you should definitely be groomed as the next, you know, 
bad boy in Salem with a heart of gold. <laughs> sort of like we, of we, we saw yeah. with Victor. Yeah. Victor was heart like a bad boy. <laughs> Blood <laughs> diamonds. Rubies. Yeah. Mike, that is, that is so nice to hear. Like, honestly, I know I'm pretty sarcastic, but you know, generally we don't get a lot of uh, feedback. Yeah, you know, yeah, like we don't yeah. get a lot of feedback at work because we're all moving so fast, and so it is lovely to hear because sometimes it just feels like we're just doing this weird play. <laughs> <laughs> This is like eight, seven or eight people behind the cameras who are like, oh, that's a pretty good play. Like, <laughs> like, right next to me, like, like, whatever. As they're rolling the camera, yeah. good job. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> back to the next scene. Like, so thank you. I, I really appreciate it. And, no, uh, and I agree. So I would is, love to take over the Kiriakis. Sorry, so. <laughs> is, is that, that your portrayal of, of Xander, you tend to be so menacing, but you have such a like innate boyish charm that it's so forgivable. So, uh, I look well, the opinions many vary, years to come. but yeah, thank you. <laughs> that, that's what I'm trying to do. Because, like, it's you know, oh, yeah. Stacey knows they can pull the carpet out from under your car, under your character, at any time. Like, yeah. you, you think you're playing this, and then they're like, oh, by the way, you didn't realize. <laughs> not, you're not even related to these <laughs> right, people. Right. Uh, you're actually you're born in a pod, <laughs> like you know, uh, you're by aliens or, or whatever. So you just, you know, you, you've just got to kind of like, you know, keep a lot of plates spinning at once. Mm -hmm. You know, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm glad that I haven't completely yet sacrificed the the villain side of. Of Xander in order to try and sell Evan's this slow, sweet slow side down. of him, you know, yeah. <laughs> it's a fine line. No, it's sure. good. It's very, very balanced. Thanks. <laughs> and uh, now, now uh, Stacy, <laughs> I am. I'm, I'm saying this as a as a gay guy. Okay. I'm so in love with you. Oh, and thank I, you. <laughs> I cannot believe how perfect this recast is because you know recasts are hard, and mm -hmm. you know I give it to actors that that have to take uh, over a role from someone because. The fans aren't really forgiving. They don't want to recast. When they do get a recast, they don't really expect a recast. They want a carbon copy of what was there uh, exactly. before. Yes. And I, I mean, that's that's silly. And you took all the elements of, of Kristen and Susan that were needed to, to really, you know, give the, the, the fans the, the characters that they were used to, but brought in such specific elements that are clearly all you. I mean, you play Kristen with such a ferocity. <laughs> yeah. It's so, it's so like, I mean, she's so passionate. And I'm like, she is. damn, that lady is hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's so, it's, I mean, she's so like unbridled and like, like ready to pounce. Yes. And with, with Susan, it's, she's, she's so not the previous Susan, but she's so Susan. I don't know how to do it, but God bless you. I think you're amazing. Oh, God, and you don't so, know how so much. I even got here. a little, like, emotional because Aww. it just, it really, you, you don't know how much that means, means a lot to, to me. Us. It yeah. means a ton because we work and work and work and work and work our, our tushes off it, and sometimes it's like you said, you can, you feel like, oh, my God, did I do that? Was I good in that? And yeah. sometimes you don't even get that back. And mm -hmm. the crew's always nice, but to oh, hear it from the they fans, look after yeah, they always. The but, but hearing it's... it from you and the it's fans, you guys that matter. Yeah, <laughs> like, the crew can love it. But like, but you guys have you to guys watch too. it. And no, I'm you're, you're so you're grateful. Both Thank phenomenal. you. Phenomenal and uh, such wonderful additions to the show. And I, I hope to see you on there for for years to come. So yeah. thank, thank you, awesome. thank you. Oh. <laughs> well, thanks, Mike. That's Riley. all I have this week, guys. Thank you. Cheers, thank man. you. Bye. Thanks, Mike. Um, we have another caller. Are we, are we all ready? We brace ourselves. Yes. Okay. Right. Uh oh. Hello, caller. Welcome to AfterBuzz TV's Dish and Days. You're on live. What's your name and where are you calling from? This is Lorraine Love from oh Los Angeles. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Let her out. Yes. Lorraine Love. Lorraine. Paul, you remember Mark, of course. Yeah, you know. I feel like a hand. <laughs> <laughs> so handsy, that one. A ghost hand? <laughs> Hi, Mark. Stacy, be careful. He's handy. <laughs> <laughs> I will. <laughs> What's your? What? Go ahead, Mark. Hey, I wasn't just. I wasn't calling to uh, ask a question. I just wanted to call and say I've never laughed so hard at Days of Our Lives in my life than I did this week. I loved every bleeping moment of it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, 
if Kristen could open that door in that mask ten more times next week, I'd love it. <laughs> Thank you, Al. There's more to come. There's definitely some more. Stuff, yeah. we it can, doesn't uh, stop now. Right. We, uh, Mark, we, Mark, I saw I saw all the tweets. Mark, I can, and I, I know Mark well enough to know that he replayed it probably 50 times. He was about. dying laughing the entire... He was crying the entire time. And yep. then he had to tweet about it. He might have forgot part of the tweet, waited a minute, watched it again, then tweeted. That's awesome. Hilarious. The, I love it. Tony knows me too well. <laughs> very well, very well. Just keep your hands off of everyone. <laughs> I, I always say if I'm tweeting about it, watch out. Because yeah. there's yeah. shit going down at my house. <laughs> <laughs> that is what the world knows. I love that. <laughs> well, thanks, Mark, for, for sneaking You're your welcome. way in. You're welcome. I love you guys. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. All right, let's take another caller. Hello. Oh, no, wait, not yet. And now. Hello, caller. Welcome to After Buzz TV's Edition Days. You're on live. What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Oh, hi. Hi. This is this is Sarah Yu. Um, hi, hi, Sarah. Huge fan I've of the show. Sarah. Yes, oh, yes. Nothing. And she's she's so great. I, I give her a compliment every week. She mm -hmm. she started off being super shy to call in. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. And then and now every week she calls in and she's just like, hey, so this is what I thought. And I was like, oh, girl, <laughs> oh, wow. let's hear it. Yeah. So uh, you're on, Sarah. What's your uh, question or comment for Paul or Stacy? And I was super shy when I met Paul, Eric, and Kathy, because I don't know what came over me, <laughs> but I was, I cried. <laughs> Listen, oh. I, 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 I cry around Cassie as well. She's just an <laughs> angel. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I just want to say, Stacey Newbert and Stanley, stop taking over. Like, I am loving it. Oh, I was you. little, at first I was a little hesitant, but I got used to seeing Eli Davis. Right. But you, you killed it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that very, very much. <laughs> See, and you were all worried. I <laughs> You're doing amazing. Listen, my everyone everyone's arms started off like this. And, and now we're all like, she's good, y'all. She's good. She's good. She's good. She's good. She's good. Well, thank you, Sarah, for calling in. We appreciate you. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Bye. 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 So sweet. All right. Sweetheart. Next up. We got enough. The calls are just coming yeah. in. Ooh. Hey, caller, you're on live on After Buzz TV's Dish and Days. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Kimberly from Maryland. Hey, hey Kimberly. Kimberly from Maryland. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> like like a huge there. welcome. Hi, <laughs> Hi, Kimberly. <laughs> What's your uh, question Hi. or comment? Well, I have um, two questions for Paul and one for... I just wanted to ask Stacey a question about Young and the Restless. Uh-huh. Okay. Hey, how did you keep a straight face talking to that fake cat? Oh, God. <laughs> it wasn't? It wasn't easy. You don't know about no, this. No, okay, wasn't. well, they, this the writers literally wrote in. You think this was hard. Writers wrote in that I killed a taxidermic, I killed my cat and mm. turned it into a taxidermic cat, and I talked to this cat. And I, it's called Mr. Kitty. <laughs> and Mr. Kitty comes out when Patty needed some love which like wasn't emotional getting support. yes an emotional taxidermy, support cat taxidermy and cat. i will tell you it was not always easy to just look at but i had to look <laughs> at the cat's eyes and i had to just kind of find this real you know kind of emotional thing like a child would with a yeah. you know barbie yeah. doll or yeah. a baby or teddy bear you just start Yes, and I made it oh real. So, so someone is that, that cat purse? Yes, that's okay. not a cat purse. And people get so mad. It's like, it's not. It's my co-star that the producer said. I had this cat for two months. You have to, the six months, it was my co-star talking right. to this cat. Mr. Kitty. And so literally they asked me if I would bring it to the Emmys. <laughs> now I go, oh my God, I should never have done it because, you, you know, it's like, <laughs> they, like you, this is a cat purse. No, I would <laughs> never do that. It's the co-star, but they told me if I lose it, it costs a lot of money right. oh. because it's a prop from this, I guess, taxidermic prop house. Yeah. That's now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so it was somebody's loved one cat. So literally... <laughs> I thought, oh gosh, if I just put it down somewhere, I'm mm. going to lose it. And so I put it 
on a I know it was poor taste I'm sure but Great. I put a ribbon around it so people knew that it was special and it was that and yes some people actually thought it was a I was I thought it was a whole like Bjork thing that you were doing like, I was like oh no, no, and everybody Met Gala like she's just out there I know. fashion forward like. no it's not fashion forward it's a it's like a cat but it make would it be fashion. like me bringing yeah. you to the uh, <laughs> oh just, just having Paul just yeah. like, I'll put you on <laughs> Don't give Carmen any ideas. Yeah, so yes, it was, it was very difficult at times to keep my, you know, a serious. I would just look at this thing going, oh my God. So, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, now Kim, you know the whole story. Kimberly, what's your, your questions for Paul? Oh, sorry. And then, um, first, I was just like, if Paul could give a shout out to me, Kimberly, Har Miss um, Hardbody. And Daquan, because they both said in the uh, oh, chat. Yeah. Oh, so Kimberly, Daquan, Daquan and Hardbody. Hi, guys. Um, yes, shouting out Ooh. to you. <laughs> did, did I shout out correctly? That was, you did great. Thank you. You did great. You did great. It's my first time. And then I wanted to ask about the picture. Was that your ideal, that picture of you and Nicole? <gasps> when you have that big smile? Oh, this self. That is my oh, absolute God. favorite. Oh, my like, Priceless. It's, I actually... It's, it's one of the few things that I've put on my like Instagram moments or whatever that thing is where you can store a story is yeah. is Greg Vaughn picking it up and like super like intense <laughs> being like, as he's looking at it then just cuts to me like <laughs> with Nicole. It's funny. I wish I had the. I wish, wish you know I was, I was going to ask. Uh, you, I wish I knew you were going to ask because it's really very similar to my favorite, um, my wife and I's favorite picture of us together, <laughs> which is her like sat in my lap and we're both like like this. But I have the exact same expression. <laughs> on my face in both pictures but you know what sells it is Ariane just giving it the full like <laughs> just the <smile. laughs> I gotta see this I love it I'll show, I'll show it my photo. we laughed at that photo oh, so crazy. hard we actually when we uh there was a uh, an event at mm -hmm. the furniture store, and mm -hmm. we were bored. And so I was like, "Tammy, let's reenact the photo." So who was who? I, I think I, you were I you was, were Paul. I was Paul. And oh, was like, perfect. It, it, was, it, it was amazing. It's like it's the funniest photo ever. I Can you guys it. do it right now? Can, wait. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, so you're down you're, you're three, Paul. Okay. okay, you got it. Three, two, one. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> well, that, that kind of thing's fun for us, obviously, because it's almost like an inside thing. It wasn't mm -hmm. written that, you know, Xander would be smiling and Nicole would be just like, let's see if they'll let us do it. Yeah. <laughs> and then she, when it finally makes it onto the show and... You know, that one was just to make me laugh more than anything. And then, so the fact that they, they went with it and actually did it, because it wasn't... So, the scene that, that Eric and, and whoever was in the scene with it, I guess Nicole, um, were playing was... Oh, it was Sammy, I think. Uh, we're, we're supposed to be playing wasn't supposed to be funny, but to mm. just have that little that moment. Easter oh, egg yeah. in there for people that are actually paying attention, like, to laugh at. So that's why this week, when stuff that's supposed to be funny that we found funny when it airs and people actually liked it. It's like, oh, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> There's one thing when we sneak something in, but when we're actually trying to be funny, you want it to be, so I'm glad, I'm glad that it was. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you, Kimberly, for... Uh, Thanks, Kimberly. For thank you. We really appreciate you. Bye. 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 Um, oh, see, I just had that moment again. I was going to say, say something. something. Well, let me, totally let me insert really quickly. So uh, this, is from, yeah. this is from... This is from Insta. Pearl Selby? made a comment say uh hey please tell stacy i'm watching i'm her favorite fan from canada oh, tell her pearl. she's doing an awesome job on days of our lives oh Thanks i love so you much. pearl thank Thanks, you pearl. so much <laughs> she's so sweet and uh steve in the chat room uh said hi tony before the show ends can i please get a shout out for my mom gail from paul thank you I'm going to do it properly this time. <laughs> Hi, Gail! <laughs> that was a better shout out, right? We didn't have three names. <laughs> <laughs> Much easier. Oh, th speaking of, of Easter eggs that, like, you know, get put in, uh, one, one that we were like, oh, my God, we thought this, but they actually did it, was the banana. Hmm. With, with, with <laughs> Leo. Like he said, like I can't remember what he said before, but then it cut to you sitting there with a banana and being like, 
Right. And I was like, oh, no. oh, they totally left it in. They did not. And just I love that. it. It was to be like, fair. Xander did eat the banana. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing, he's like throwing the he skin in the trash. Yeah, so. yeah. Which made me think. Okay, move on. Oh, yeah. this, 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 this is great. I love it. I love it. Um, let's see. What else is, are people? Uh, da, 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 uh, One thing I want to know from you, Paul, sure. when you're essentially playing off the same character but with two different actresses right. who have like maybe varying styles how easy is it for you to like ad- maybe adapt or like you're in a scene with Kristen but it's Ari right. then you're next thing you're in a scene with Kristen and it's Stacy mm-hmm. like does that is that jarring for you at all cuz it, it doesn't come off that it is on screen but um, um but it wasn't <laughs> it, it wasn't necessarily jarring the only thing that we struggled with a little bit was because God, I keep doing that. Um, <laughs> it's invisible. <laughs> um, it's a little bit tricky because the way they write things sometimes they will in- intentionally misdirect, mm-hmm. like not just the audience but us too. <laughs> mm-hmm. And there were so a lot of the early scenes between Xander and Nicole before the reveal was done. Yeah, if you look at the words on the page, like it's. It's written as if it is Nicole, and, yeah. and Xander is responding to her as if as she Nicole. is Nicole. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> that puts you in a bit of a pickle when two weeks later they give you a script and it's like, oh, psych. <laughs> <laughs> Just but you wish we told you about this, right? <laughs> so, to, so the only way to to then roll with it for me. Um, was to be like, well, you know, Xander's a bit crazy, and he's always really fancied Nicole, and now he's got a v- close enough version <laughs> of Nicole, so I can buy that he would just go all in mm-hmm. on just being like, well, while she's Nicole, she can be Nicole to the degree that I need her to be, yeah, yeah. and that's you know that's why I kind of gave you the smooch or not you, but Ariana, oh, you, Ariana, yeah, it, yeah, that's when it gets <laughs> When it gets like, get it's in my memory. <laughs> and watching because now we're so far ahead. Oh, you yeah. know, like when I was first on the show, we were maybe like three months ahead, and yeah. now we're like six, seven, eight, or yep. whatever yeah. it is. Oh, right yeah. Now. And um, you know, so as a function, the, the memory does tend to deteriorate. Right? <laughs> but, like, so that we now I'll be watching scenes. I I feel like I remember do because you to me are Kristen. Yes. Um, and so it's a Kristen scene, even though it's Ariane playing it. Yeah. I guess, yeah, it, it, at the time, all mm-hmm. I do is just imagine... Because you're... See, I never had scenes with Eileen. Like, mm-hmm. you know, oh, like yeah. My experience of Eileen was I'd just gotten on the show and was asked to sign a release in case her reality show caught me in the background mm-hmm. while she was yes. visiting set. And I was like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no offence, but I was like, who? Like, you know, like, no, I'm not... No, I'm, I'm good, actually. Because I, I was all like snooty, just arrived at... You know the soap opera. I was like, you know, well, I, I don't know what the rules are here, but uh, one TV, one TV show at a time. Thanks, guys. Like, um, so when you know Stacey took over the role, I was really excited because I was like, well, I can just start from scratch with yeah. you know this is my my Kristen. So yeah, I would just imagine. And to be fair, you know, Ariane did a great job of oh, kind yeah. of like stitching together both yeah. your oh mannerisms yeah. and Eileen. Oh, I think yeah, that's part yeah. of why the transition kind of worked is because you had in the mix as well was Ariane doing her like. Well, here's my go at, like, you know, <laughs> at, at Kristen slash, you know, wh- whoever we're trying to make you believe I am today. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. So, yeah, for, for me, I would just kind of imagine. And it, plus, it was easy because I was, <laughs> you were both in all the same costumes all the time. Like, yes. I've, come in, I've got some great, I, I should post them now that um, it's all airing. Like, I'll, I'll put it on uh, social should. media this It'll week. Yeah. I've got some great pictures and videos of you guys in the same um, outfits, trying on the mask, taking the mask oh off, God. playing with oh wigs. Yeah. And just, you know, it's, it's mad. It's just <laughs> mad. <laughs> so you just got to, like, go limp. <laughs> like, you know, just, like, and roll with the madness. Yeah. Yeah. So and, um, and so a big part of that, tracking it for me, was um, was like you say, just that, like imagining that it was Stacy inside, you know, un- mm-hmm. it was like, really fast, like, a, yeah. a fleshy mask. So. <laughs> well, it's just easier to do it for real sometimes. Yeah. With this this storyline, I I always wondered did did you and and Ari kind of like talk or have a conversation or just hang out so that you kind of get the mannerisms so that she could get the mannerisms of like Kristen, like how does because that. I feel like as an actor, that has to be difficult. You're like, okay, 
I play this character, but I'm at this character as this character. So like, how would this character portray? Because I know how I'm. I've been Nicole forever. Yeah. But like now, Nicole is Kristen. So like, how does right. that work? So were well, there like she, conversations? You and stuff? know what? Well, I didn't even know because I wasn't even on when they started this whole thing. Right. Uh, yeah. And so then I came on, and then she goes. We're ma- she's in the makeup chair. I'm in the makeup chair, and we look at each other. And go, can you believe this storyline? Like, yeah, and I'm like, I don't know what you, I don't know what to do. And she's like, I know, I don't either. But we're going to just kill it. And I said, yeah. okay, cool. Yeah. But I guess she ended up watching, like I did with Eileen, yeah. tapes mm-hmm. of me to get my mannerisms. And mine are not, you know. And I think she kicked ass on yeah. some of those like, moments. I'm like, oh, my God, that would I would have totally done that. <laughs> and so I was watching her, but she did. She watched body language. And then mm-hmm. what I started, once I started to, you know, we got a little bit further in, I started watching her as well because mm-hmm. we had scenes where... She, I had to know where her um, emotion was so yeah. that I could come out and do, you know, take the mask off and go into what was going on. Because yeah. sometimes I wouldn't even know what was going on in the scripts that she was in. Yeah. And I'm like, and I'll be telling him, I'm like, when the hell did I say this? <laughs> He says, "Oh, that was Nicole's, like, Kristen Nicole." And they always say, "This Kristen Nicole." I'm like, "I, but I'm not." So I hadn't, didn't know how some of the stories that were yes. going on underneath. And I'm like, "Oh, I'm taking over to Mary. I want to do that." Blah blah blah. Yeah. So yeah. So it was. It was. Um, the later we started just watching each other and, yeah. and just kind of and, you know, I we love each other. <laughs> I like. I like envision that you know you you have the script and and she kind of goes, "How would you say this?" <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Yeah. She just... <laughs> you just kind of go for it, yeah. you know? And once you get the gist, I mean, again, she still has to be Nicole, but except mm-hmm. with you, she's... It, yeah, it gets a little confusing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot confusing. But I, like I say, I, I think, you know, to the degree that we can get away with it on our show, because our show isn't isn't realistic, it's no. not a naturalistic show, like, part of it is the high camp and the sheer mm-hmm. kind of ridiculousness yeah. of it. Oh, yeah. So, so long as... The audience is, you know, along the ride and in on the joke, and as long as we are too, yeah. like mm-hmm. it kind of, all, I hope it all comes together and it works the right way. It should just be a lot of fun. It should be like this, you know, take this journey and just go with it. It's, it's I know just, we're going weird. Yeah. Good, it's good. Good. Journey. It's a, it's a ride. Like I'm not ready to get off. <clears> I know. It's like, just, roller coaster. Just, just take me. Yeah. I mean, I know. So I say this. I'm to say this all the time, but like, there's a lot more coming. There really is. Like there, like there's more. Mass stuff, going, yeah. More, yeah, like it just it keeps we, going. we're still playing out like you know event like things that are happening right now in the show are, st- are still like repercussions of, oh, yeah. of this storyline essentially. Oh, yeah. So it's, oh, yeah. Yeah. one thing <laughs> one thing that we do want more of is Xander and Maggie. Yeah. Oh, don't yeah. you yeah. love them? Oh, oh my god, god. there are no love them. So good moments. Oh yeah, you're so sweet. What's, it been, so like, sweet. what's it been like working with Suzanne? I just, I mean, I got to do this really sweet little interview with her a few weeks ago that they just put on the the app, and yeah, I'm. I'm I don't want to get too sincere, but like Suzanne is amazing. Like mm-hmm. she's been there on on that show for decades. Um, she is not in the slightest bit jaded or weary or bitter or anything. Like and, and especially when you think about what the show was at its zenith, and you know compared to the daytime landscape now, like she's just. She, she's just beautiful. Like, she's just she's beautiful. lovely. When she literally comes like, into the makeup room, just this bundle of joy every day. morning, yeah. and you're just like, God, that's just, it just it lifts does. everybody it just up. Leaves everyone, yeah. well, you know, we all get a bit. You know, it's six in the morning. Uh, <laughs> well, tra- tra- you're maybe six five. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> and somehow there's still traffic at six a.m. Right, and, yeah. You know, stuff like that, and, and you, you get in and. You, uh, you try to memorize your stuff, but then they're giving you cuts. You know, oh, I like that line. You, know, I know. you find something to get. You know, just find some reason to be annoyed because even though it's a great job, it's still a job. <laughs> and Suzanne walks in. Oh yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Morning, morning, everyone. Yeah. She's like, it's all like she's just the and best. she's just smiles all the time, and she's just uh, I mean always alive. I just love her. Oh. But just selfishly, as an actor, and for you know purely cynically for what those that part of the storyline does for Xander it's funny because you know at first I was like well this is again a, a jarring shift mm-hmm. uh, yes. towards him being kind of nice and, and friendly to this specific person but at the same time it's funny watching it with my wife because she will never be convinced that Xander is doing anything but <laughs> mal- maliciousness <laughs> like she's like, I, like someone, so I look at her and be like well, what, what do you think I was kind of sincere like she's like Oh, I don't buy it for a second. <laughs> you are going to kill that nice old lady like, or something. Like, but, but it's funny because so because at first I thought well, I'm, I'm going a bit too far the the other way of all this stuff, you know. And it, you know, you've got to like keep the meanness in, in there somewhere. 
but you really you can't honestly because <laughs> like is like my worry was that it would be you know unconvincing or that it would be you know too jarring that now he's being so lovely but in the immediate um seconds after that stuff aired people are like oh I kind of like Xander now yeah. and all that yeah. stuff and I was like because of the, the pace of the show and, and the, the way we tell the stories and the way the audience watches sometimes you ju- do just have to just go alright he's this now for the, the purposes of this scene <laughs> yes. mm-hmm. yeah. and you can go with it or you, or you, or you can't but that's what we're doing yeah. So, yeah. so let's see what shakes out because for all I know I, I, no spoilers, but for all I for all I know, when I'm shooting this stuff, within two weeks it will be completely contradicted by <laughs> <laughs> what we now know to have really been going on. Yeah, so yeah. which is kind of a nice safety net for us as actors because yeah. you go, well, if you don't like it, don't worry, we'll change, we'll change, we'll change, we'll change it two weeks anyway. Like, there was a, there was a slight moment though when when that when you got you and Maggie were interacting that I was like. No, I know Xander is desperate, but not Maggie. <laughs> no. No. Not, not Maggie. She's a good-looking woman. <laughs> good-looking woman. Well, unfortunately, that is our time. I really oh. wish that we oh, could like... On that bombshell. This show. is so much fun! Yeah. 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 So, as... as after after, after Buzz. Okay. After, 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 after Buzz. Getting buzzed after After Buzz. Okay. <laughs> so, as the story progresses, you guys have to come back in. Okay, oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about it more. Yeah, yeah, And I'll bring the wine. Excellent. Yeah, we love that here. Did you um, get um, Lindsay Godfrey as well? Yes, 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 yes. yes. We're, we're putting all of this out here. Yes. For y'all. We're putting it all out here. Um, before we leave, though, um, we'll go around and, and give our social media handles. So, Michael Maddox. Yes. Let the kind folks know where they can cyber stalk you. You can find me on Twitter at MLMattis1 and on Instagram at MLMattis. I never get it right. <laughs> He's been doing this show for years. <laughs> and then you can find me on Instagram at Chelsea Overrocker and then on Twitter at Chelsea Overrocker. And You're a first official <laughs> show. Yay! So good. <laughs> Chelsea is our newest uh, host. Yes. Yeah. Bravo. So glad to be here. <laughs> and you can find me on Twitter at Tammy Govea and Insta Tammy.govea. And Stacey, where can they cyber stalk you? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I know on Instagram, Stacy S T A C Y underscore H A I D U K, and I don't Facebook. I think it's just Stacy Hyder. Yeah, <laughs> on, the, on the Twitter is Stace. Stace I don't Hyder. even know. Well, I don't even go on Twitter very often, guys. So no. I'm on Instagram. Avoid Facebook. that. Go, Avoid go, 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 go on to the ground. Yeah, unless you want to say something negative. I, I'm, I'm only on Twitter and Instagram, um, and I'm Paul, T- Paul Telfer. <laughs> 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 on both of them. And neither are verified, so, you know, buyer beware. It could be, it could, it could be somebody trying to catch fish you. Sorry, it's not my fault. So. Sorry about it. <laughs> and, of course, you guys can find all of us on Instagram and Facebook, Dish and Days, or underscore Dish and Days on the Twitter. And you can find little old me on all social media platforms at Lounger with Tony or my website, if it's still up and running, Did you pay the bill? Did you pay those bills? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys we'll so see much. you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its own.